Hello video creators, welcome to Hitpaw channel. This is episode 4 of our guide series. In this video, we are going through the basic sound editing feature. What? The sound is too loud. You can't hear me? Don't worry, we can reduce the background music. Now it's fine. Okay, so this is today's topic, the basic sound editing feature. We will show you how we add music or sound in videos. You can subscribe us to receive the latest guide video notification. And you may also leave your comments below to let us know what contents you want to know about video editing. If possible, we will manage to do that. Okay then, let's jump into the topic. As we know, music has a power for invoking our emotions, especially when we are watching films. Adding music to our videos can greatly improve the quality. Adding music is as simple as adding videos, we need to place a video in the main track first, then just drag the audio file to the timeline it will automatically generate a track to place the audio. Now when we click play button, we can watch video with audio. If we add a sound track unexpectedly, we can simply right click the track and delete it, or hit the delete button on the keyboard to remove it. When a video contains a sound we don't need in the moment, we can mute it for now, then turn the sound on when it's needed. The mute button is in the head of the track. You must have guessed how this eye works. It is used to hide the video track. Once turned on, the video will be hidden but not deleted. And once turned off, the video will be seen again. When a video contains sound originally, we can separate the video and the sound. All we need to do is right-click the video and choose Detach Audio, the video and the sound will be divided. Splitting sound is as the same way as we did in the last guide video. We can use the split tool to easily trim the sound, then hit delete to remove the part we don't need or we can drag the edge of the sound to reduce its length. The speed tool is also available for sound. We can easily use it to slow or fasten the audio, then click on OK to confirm. To increase or reduce the audio volume, we can do this in the properties area. Just drag the slider and listen to the result. The two options below is the fade in and fade out effects. We can drag the slider to choose how long the effect will last. The sound volume will gradually be raised or be reduced within the time we select. Usually we would add this effect in the beginning and at the end of a video. Alright, these are the basic tools for us to edit sound. We can apply them to our own videos. There are more features waiting to be explored and we will continue adding cool features to the editor. You can subscribe to get the latest news. Hope you like this video. You can leave your comments below to help us improve the editor and tell us what you want to see. See you next time.